So in this video, I'm starting some new projects for the new year. So as you can see, I'm starting to clear things out a little bit while I have tools at my disposal to do something like this. I thought that I would get started. I will have another couple days here and then I'll be moving my way down. And if I don't finish, I can stop by my stepfather's house and he's got a lot of tools that I can use as well. The project is my front area and the bench. So I put down a couple designs to get the measurements right and things like that so that I could start to think what is the best option for me. Yeah. Can you see my breath? It's very cold out here. I should get one of my hats. Hold on. Okay. A little bit better there. Basically, there are three options. I can eliminate the bench altogether, which creates this whole area that is open from the passenger under the dash to here. And that is a lot of square footage, but it creates a couple problems. One is that I would need to figure out how to add a way for my bed to slide out and still have support on that end and create the extra 10 inches that my bench created for the platform of this uh, mat. And it also eliminates the storage that I had underneath the bench. And it eliminates a seat that was there on the other side. So I don't think I want to eliminate it altogether. So the second option was to figure out how I could potentially fold the bench so that it was open during the day and then be able to flip it back for night to continue to create the space that I need for the platform of the bed. And that is a really good option. You've given me a lot of things to think about there in terms of maybe having a piano hinge. Somebody suggested that I put a cushion on the bottom so that when I flipped it up over, it would create an instant bench. So I really liked that idea. I still potentially lose the space that was under one half of the bench because I would want to keep that clear and not have to move things around just to juggle all of that, which is fine. But I would still have the storage underneath the one half of the bench, which is a really good thing. And I would have the full seating that I've always had there on the other side of my space here. So I really like that option. So then a third option is just to cut it in half and eliminate this side altogether and just keep this side over here. But I still would have the problem of when the platform comes out, having some support in that one corner. So really the biggest obstacle in any of this is that one corner of the bed that will still need support no matter what I do with this bench elimination thing. So that is a problem that a better skilled carpenter or engineer would be able to solve in two seconds. But for me, I just have to think about it and see what I'm able to do at my skill level that will solve the problem, even temporarily, and I might get a more permanent fix later on. So hopefully you'll stick around to see what I actually choose to do at the end of this if I get the project finished in time. So here we go, let's do this. So as you can see, I've cut the bench in half and I'm going to sand it and then paint it with kills, I got a color to match my cabinet, roughly, just so that it has a layer of protection on it that way. The 
this is a paint that is mold and mildew resistant. Nice plain neutral color that matches my cabinets. This is a roller for semi-smooth to semi-rough surfaces since this isn't something that's entirely smooth. light you might be see this one is a little better that's first coat anybody is interested in what color that was, it was Bear Sand Pearl. Although that is the color that they put into the kills because it was the right medium consistency that you need for kills. So these are all the pieces that I'm going to need for the bench. This piano hinge will go in between the two pieces of the bench. And then I got some L brackets to square off the bench. So hopefully those work. We'll see. These sturdier legs I'm going to put right inside of where the hinge is on the bench that is permanent, if that makes sense, and still use these to catch the uh, platform. Gotta say, did pretty good with the color matching. So that is looking like that cabinet pretty much. I wanted to explain something because some of you have been saying, why don't I swivel it around to the back so that it would be back facing? And I have thought of that. The thing is that I really don't gain much by doing that except maybe a lounging seat. Whereas I really don't feel the need for that with the benches and the ottomans that I now have and my couch back there. So that wasn't my priority in having this space. It would have been nice maybe, but the thing with those swivel seats is that they are pretty high and it really would just be taking up the same amount of space as I did before with it front facing. Right now I actually gain the driver's side access to sit and lounge like that, even with my feet over this way. And I still have this space for other things. Also, the underneath the seats, you saw when I removed it, the wires that were there and everything else, there is really only this much. I think that's three inches. So it's not like I gain a huge amount if I were to just raise it and have it be on a swivel. I actually might lose it because the swivel platform needs a lot of room to do that. 
So I wanted to explain that for those of you who were curious as to why I didn't do that. So this is also the level of the floor in the back. Now I can continue that out. If I raised everything to that level, I would want to do it so that I can still access that storage underneath here and whatever space is created underneath. But that skill level is beyond me at this point. So I'm gonna wait on that, but that is a, a very good future idea to have all of this then be level. So I am in the process of putting these on, which is going to be on this side of the bench where it creates the leg on the other side. I've already put the hinge on here like this. So that is done. And then it will be finished and I'll show you guys how it looks. It's just hard to film and uh, do this at the same time, but it's coming along. Now I am in the process of placing the bench so that when the top board goes out, it's still flush with this and it's back far enough. So you see that side over there will have just that foot and I'll try to figure out how to make that look nicer. This is all the wood I had to work with. And then this is where the hinge is. Uh, and this is just here for placement, it's not on yet, uh, but these will be flipped around and there'll be one of these that comes out here one of those here and then the ones in the back to reinforce this bench so this this is the stationary bench so that is the one that will be anchored down both in the back over here and the back over here and then these they flip over this way will be serving as support here as they always have so it should be a pretty stable little bench here and then here is where it hinges over onto here and I'll show you that in a minute. So it's in, I used an existing hole uh, for to get this down and had to go through the carpet, but that's just how it is. So at least these are now in and they're more solid on this step than they were. Makes for a little less room in between here, but I will just figure that out and then on this side, I have it tapped down here, so it should be nice and solid that way. And those mainly stayed the same. It's all painted though, it looks pretty. So this is how that all is working. Moment of truth, will this slide over onto here? I still, I bought a door hinge that will slide out here because that is now no longer able to be put here. I'm gonna just cover all these. I originally put this on the wrong side. I thought I did that so right, but that is, you know, the price that you pay for not knowing what the heck you're doing. But now I will see if this uh, actually slides out. So let's do this. It worked. Just on this corner, uh, it just needs that extra little support. Now, these go down, and then whoop, boom. So then this will be how it is in little bench mode. And I will try to figure out how to have a cushion here so that will look nice and I'll do something here so that looks nice. I hope you've enjoyed watching me build out my little bench. As you can see it's still a work in progress but I will leave that to a future time. As always thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.